Sorry about that, my phone died. So now I want to set a basic uh, challenge for you guys. It's called, let's call it the 360, um, the 360 channel. So if you can imagine lifting up, right foot comes forward, breathing in, channeling, channeling, breathing in, right foot comes forward and push out. Left foot comes in, channeling up. Attention is very important to bring the attention to the third eye. It's one of the very important focuses um, with this practice is where you want to bring the attention to the third eye. So 360 walkabout, let's go. foot comes forward, channel out, left foot comes in, channel in, point of attention to the third eye, left foot goes out, push out, right foot comes forward, suck up, channel in, left foot goes out, Right foot comes in, channel in, left foot goes out, channel out, right foot comes in, channel in, left foot goes out, channel out, right foot comes in, channel in. Now staying still. Practice on your own time, just channeling down, out, channeling in, attention to the third eye, raising through the pelvic area, lifting up, strong, point of attention to the consciousness of the forehead, the third eye, and seeing an infinite spiraling energy field circulating between the third eye and the pelvic. Try that now. As a beginner, you can you can start to practice just kind of deflecting the energy, kind of you know just breathing in that abundance of energy once. I can't stress this enough, as especially as a beginner, is that if you're finding it hard to create that extra energy, you really need to focus on that pelvic area. I'm sorry, but. I can't stress it enough because that's kind of where you are getting this abundance because when you can focus on your pelvic area um, like blocking that that chakra you know we kind of in in terms of you know energy we, we almost talk a lot about unblocking um, the chakras 
which is super important, but theoretically, if we are blocking the chakra, then we can actually use that energy to enlighten and bring that abundance of energy through, which is actually going to unlock chakras, um, especially, hopefully, your, um, your third eye chakra. Uh, that's kind of ultimately what we're working for here is because if we can unblock your third eye chakra, uh, that's potentially what's connecting us to the divine um, through our third eye chakra, through all, everywhere plays a part, but we finally go th to the crown, bang, you know, wah, ball. So, you know, consciously just be aware that if you're not feeling that abundance of um, frequency, really try and block that, um, block that off and, and really suck in that lower stomach and squeeze up and you can, you got to feel it, you got to feel something, you know, and work with that something, grow that something, believe that something, because that very thing you're believing is the choice consciously in your head of change. <laughs> Realistically, it is. So believe that, feel that, love that. Now, um, there's not much to it, you know, besides, you know, of course there's a lot to it, but someone can only show you the river, you know? That's your river. That's your, you know, um, ability to explore and play with your energy and become aware consciously that you are just a point of attention in a river that is endless and that whether or not you want to free yourself free that body into that unlimited you know river because you are a river whether you're blocked or not and right now we have to kind of try and use our energy powerhouse in our core to kind of um, circulate some kind of spark in this um, consciousness of energy to form a, a, a kind of a, a spark that can potentially become, make you become aware of this, um, this energy that we're in, you know, this river that we're in, because we are in a river but we might just be a drop of that river. Um, uh, you know, we are a part of the river, I should say. You know, we're part of the river, but we might just be a drop of that river, you know, in the fucking desert. Excuse my language, but it's kind of what the paint the analogy. Um, but it's up to us to actually evaporate to say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not being a part of this desert anymore, <laughs> I'm, I'm going, bye, <laughs> and evaporating up, and that's what we're doing, we're kind of in light, lifting ourselves up, and we're, we're traveling to that source, because if we can manifest our energy, and learn to channel that energy simply through what we've learned in that first half of the video, by lifting up, sucking in that core, getting that back straight, lifting up and squeezing that energy in and bringing the attention to the third eye. Squeezing and start to move it. You can actually just start to basic exercises. Do exactly that. Grounding through the feet as well. Your feet should be evenly grounded. Grounding through the feet squeezing up and just start to deflect left and right breathing and every breath that I take I follow the same principle of squeezing the pelvic muscles up, you know, lifting up, grounding through the feet, lifting up, sucking that stomach in, pushing that back straight, sucking that stomach in, pushing that back straight, and lifting up and starting to feel that energy in motion with the hands and 
just become aware that I am circulating energy, whether you like it or not, whether you're consciously aware of it or not. You are, believe it, flow with it. Then you start to realize that maybe we are in space itself already. You maybe become aware of gravity learning to use your energetic frequency your vibration your magnetics and you can actually start to feel the surroundings eventually you will get to that point but eventually basic movements to start is just starting to channel that energy of yourself and start to be able to play with it and move and feel yourself just in your own time just practice you know lift up squeeze stomach suck it in but keep a straight back you know push your hips forward suck your stomach in pull up bring the energy into this life force place and then once it's here channel it with your hands bring it up and push down relax the shoulders don't keep them up so tense because that's what we're working with now with this abundance of energy that we're creating we can bring it in the shoulders we can lift it up and we can let go we can do anything that you want with it become aware of it it's powerful it can heal you it can open your mind it, it's it's pure energy that we can start to cleanse and clarify and, and turn it into gold love once we can learn to channel the energy, we can learn to detoxify and cleanse the energy. Because we're breathing in fresh life force. That is the key, is that when we're squeezing and sucking, we're really channeling the best life force in the atmosphere into our bodies. You think it's breath that we're breathing. Think again, you know coming aware that the breath that is we're breathing is life force and when we're channeling and squeezing and we're choosing the right life force to come into our body to help us at this certain stage of our life like a calling you're calling the right energy into your your mind your with the attention on the third eye <sighs> calling the right energy into your mind believe it or not you think you're just breathing air think again you know consciously become aware of infinite possibility on this planet what we're taught but question it life force being able to choose the life force what life force are you breathing And then now when we're consciously aware of, of the energy that we're bringing into our body, we can start to consciously become aware of what energy we're moving out of our body. Binding negativity. Moving it out of our body. Consciously aware of this life force that we're bringing into our body. Building a, an invisible house. going to be everything in this video i hopefully you can um just uh, meditate on the points of attention that it's incredibly powerful to learn to um bring this abundance of energy in by quite simply just pushing the the um the
bum forward, sucking the belly in and lifting up like we did at the start of the class. Imagine someone's pulling up, pulling in, and then bringing the attention to the third eye and just trying to imagine that there is a connection between your third eye, everything, the spine, everything, that you are literally just a spiraling motion of light, endless directions, really, um, of love. <laughs> and that you were, and most importantly, or as well, is that the air that we're breathing is life force. Uh, and you have the ability to choose what you need to bring into your body in this certain moment when we're not aware of um, the universal frequency and kind of being able to choose and determine uh, what we need in our bodies because we are frequency and potentially the breath that we're breathing is just frequency and we get to choose in this endless stream of um, consciousness or this endless stream of uh, um, that we perceive to be reality is just an infinite frequency range which we can potentially tap into and breathe in life force that potentially will set us free out of this matrix illusion. Focus on the attention to the mind. Focus on bringing the love into your body that's going to heal you. And then when you can bring that attention, when you can bring that infinite possibility into your body, start to identify places that you want to... Um, you want to discreet, you want to move that energy, that powerful energy you've just brought in by, you know, circulating it in this um, power, you know, you could say oven. And once you're in that oven, you can breathe, breathe that oven up, you know, and push that oven out because you are frequency. And if you can breathe it up and push it out, you can start to detoxify this spinning abundance of energy that you are, that your soul is. Because we're working with the soul here, which is working with the body, the mind, everything, connecting with spirit. We are soul in a, in a body. And if we are working... We're working with everything here. We're working with soul. We're working with body. We're working with mind. We're working with consciousness. We're working with life force. We're working with spirit. We're aligning ourselves to everything. Um, detoxifying the body. Freeing the mind. Growing the soul and connecting with spirit. Infinite love.